Hi there, my name is Anne, and this is another video on my journey of learning art. In this video, I'm going to focus more on trying to find shapes in a certain object and with those shapes actually creating that object on paper because I have a lot of problems with proportions and things not looking right like the picture. And after that, I'm going to try to really focus more on outlining the piece correctly because that's also something I need to work on. And I'm going to start off by tracing this picture of a goldfish. I opened Krita and I opened the picture on it. I added another layer and tried to look for the shapes in this fish. So for the head I saw a triangle and a body, then the half of an oval. Then the fins were like rectangles and stuff like that. And I just tried to find shapes that I could recreate on a paper, which would make it easier for me to draw it. For actually outlining this piece, a lot went wrong, but also a lot went right. <laughs> I started by drawing the triangle and the shapes that I traced beforehand. And when I had those basic shapes, I tried to actually erase a little bit with a kneadable eraser first so that it was easier for me to make correct lines and actually line the shape of the fish correctly because the fish head isn't an exact triangle. The mouth is round, it has a lip, it has eyes and stuff like that. And I struggled a lot because his body is weirdly shaped. <laughs> He has weird fins in the back and I didn't really know what to do with it because without those fins he looked just weird but then with the fins he looked different. So I, I struggled a lot with that but eventually I just made do <laughs> and I think it turned out great and then I started to add the scales. That's where I messed up the most. Uh, <laughs> those skills are just horrible. But yeah, I tried something and it didn't work. And now I know for next time to not do that. So it's a win, I guess, in that case. I learned something more. But if you look at the skills now, it just, I started it and I didn't have the patience and I didn't look so good. I should have tried harder and not have given up. Next, I tried to outline a giraffe first. So again, in Krita and another layer, I took a pencil and tried to find the shapes. I found a circle for his mouth, an oval for his head, and then a rectangle-ish thingy for his neck, again for the hair on his back. And then those stumps, I tried to draw trapeziums, I think it's called in English, but that was just weird. <laughs> And I should have done something differently for the years. I should have made a triangle or something, but this worked just fine in the end. Now for the actual drawing, I think this one turned out the best. So I started by tracing those lines on the paper and then erasing a lot and trying again and erasing and trying again. It, it was a lot of struggle in the beginning for me to get the shapes correctly and as I liked it, <laughs> but I struggled a lot because I was afraid it was going to look like a horse because those are the exact same shapes you use as for horses and I had a lot of trouble figuring out how to place it correctly and I also placed him wrong. He should have been lower on the paper because I don't have a lot of space on the top for the stump thingies, whatever they are called, and that mouth. What was that? It was so difficult to draw. I don't know why, it just wouldn't look right, in my opinion. And if you saw the reference picture before, you can see that, that I drew the bottom part of his head too low. It should have been higher. I drew it wrong, but I didn't want to change it because I didn't like the way it turned out. And I tried to fix it a couple times, but in the end, I just went with it. <laughs> wow. 
Now for outlining this piece, it was difficult because I wanted to get some texture in it to like showcase that it was actual hair and not just a smooth surface. And I think it worked pretty well again at the top, but then I also continued it to his nose, but I didn't like it. So I tried to fix it in the end with a thicker line because I was going to do that anyway to get line weight. His neck is kind of messed up, but that's all right. <laughs> and I really liked trying different kind of line weights. I think it turned out great. And yeah, I really, really like this outline. I think it's better than the last one. I definitely like this eye a lot. It is so, in my opinion, it gives this giraffe a more like calm uh, look to it. And yeah, I also try to add more line weight to it by using different kind of liner and I think it worked out pretty good. In my opinion, I think with the different line weights, it, it, it brings more stuff to the piece. And yeah, I'm just really proud of this one. The next one I'm going to try and draw is this bear, and this is just a mess. <laughs> I started again by outlining it, but um, at first I couldn't figure out what the shape was, and I thought, oh, maybe a heart with a flat surface at the top. And then I thought, hmm, this looks like a guitar pick. But not really, and I just, the way I drew this is just wrong. I know that. A bear skull. It's very difficult in my opinion. I, I tried different things and they all didn't work. And as you can see now, I'm, I'm struggling to even think of what the lines are or what the shapes are. And I definitely know that when I'm going to draw this next, that it doesn't look that great because I couldn't figure out the poses and how to draw it correctly. So my picture didn't turn out correctly either. So, what did I expect? <laughs> now for actually drawing the bear, I didn't even want to begin at this piece, so I just sat there looking at the picture and thinking, am I really going to draw this? In the end I did try, but my god, I struggled a lot <laughs> with this. Even the first step, putting down the shapes, that was even difficult and as you can see I tried a lot and I tried again and I think it turned out okay the shapes but I should have known that even if the first step was difficult to just try the shapes that I should have done something differently maybe picked another picture or something like that and that this was a little bit too difficult for me but I tried and I'm going to try again so that I can get better at this. But yeah, now I'm actually at the part where I try to refine the picture. And oh boy, did I make a lot of mistakes. It, For a very long time, it, in my opinion, it doesn't look like a bear. It looks like, I don't know, something. <laughs> but the one thing that I struggled a lot with outside of the shape was the hair because a bear has fur and I wanted to capture that but I didn't know how so I kept erasing and trying again and eventually I just like did squiggly lines and I think that turned out great another thing was that in the beginning I drew his eyes too far up his head and then I had to erase it because I had to bring it lower but that wouldn't erase all of it so now they're just like little indentations that there were eyes there so I, I, I put a lot more pressure than I should have on the pencil so again another mistake that I did I should have less pressure on my pencil and now for outlining these speeds I was nervous again because I wanted to get that fork correctly and I didn't really know at the top with his ears what exactly I needed to do 
so I did something. I don't know if I did it correctly, but uh, <laughs> yeah. And I wanted to give a more depth like I did with the giraffe. So I wanted a thicker outline, but then I was afraid I was going to lose all those strokes. So I just did it with his nose, but that didn't work out that great, I think. It just looks weird. And then I realized something, I should give him eyebrows. And that helped a lot. Giving him eyebrows made the piece a lot better, in my opinion. For the last, but certainly not least, I drew a cowfish. This is what a cowfish looks like. And this one was fun to draw. <laughs> this one was actual fun. So again, I just, his body is a trapezium, so I drew that, very easy. His ears are sticks, very easy again. His mouth is what I drew here, wrong, not a circle, but an oval. I fixed it later on, while I was drawing, I realized, no, that's wrong. But it's a very simple outline, and I, I just, I had so much fun drawing this one. <laughs> And now for actually drawing the cowfish, it was fun. I just drew the trapezium first and then did the rest of it. And I really, really liked it. I think this one turned out just so cute. I found it a very cute animal, so it was fun to draw. Again, I just started with the basic shapes and I tried to erase a little bit so I could focus better of getting the lines correctly because it isn't just a straight line. There are little dents and little curves in the lines. And I used a ruler to get it more evenly so that it would be mirrored correctly on the other side. And that helped a lot. I found for me to see when, oh no, this is wrong. I should have drawn that higher. Here is a part where I messed up with his mouth. So I should have drawn an oval and it just wouldn't go right, so I redrew it a lot. But eventually I got it right, I think. And this was just fun. <laughs> and this is when I actually liked drawing all these pictures because it turned out great in my opinion. So it, it, it makes drawing more fun if something turns out great. <laughs> It was a little bit difficult because you couldn't see it in the picture, but his mouth actually isn't flat on his body. It's like a, a little thing that pokes out of his body. And so I didn't really know how to draw that correctly. And eventually you can see that I just draw some lines. And I think that helped a lot to draw those lines because it looked okay. And then outlining it, I just try it more light pressure, don't press too hard on the pen so that I get a more even line and not just wrinkles all over the place. And then I tried to outline it again later when it was finished with a thicker kind of pen so that I get more line weight and that the lines didn't look all the same. And this one together with the giraffe I think worked out the best for me. So I'm definitely gonna keep trying these kind of pictures and I'm definitely gonna keep focusing on my shapes. But I really like drawing this and I think that I'm going in the right direction of learning more stuff. And I hope you liked watching this video. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve myself on what to do better or how I could learn more about art, I would really appreciate it if you leave those things in the comments down below. If you like this, please let me know. And just let me know what you didn't like about this, what I could do to improve. Because I know I made a lot of mistakes. Just that stupid goldfish in itself was 
not that great. <laughs> so I know I can improve. I just need to practice more. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And here is the rest of my beautiful cowfish.